What's up everybody? Today I have a confession to make. And now it's not every day that I talk bad about a video game console. However, in this video I will discuss wholeheartedly why I hated this gaming console. Now hate is such a tough word to say but it's also a tough word to try and confess it to however how many people end up watching this video but I think it's better for me to let you guys know why I hated that console and what made me change my mind for the better moving forward. Without further ado ladies and gentlemen my name is Ace and this is why I hated the original Xbox console. Let's go. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking about this side of me in front of the camera in what could also be possibly seen by thousands of people. Crap, but I can't back out now since I've started it. So, before I was this sort of cool gamer, understanding and open to anything new when it comes to innovations on video games, I was once a one console type of gamer. Let me explain as to what that is. A one console gamer is a type of idiot savant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to describe myself here from a long time ago. Okay guys, let me give you my long description of what a one console gamer is. Now, bear with me with this one, okay? It is one's belief that one console rules all consoles and that no matter what new console comes out that's far superior to the believed one console, the one console gamer ignores it and slanders it just under his breath even if it's not publicly said. So basically, the, cons the one console gamer only plays and prefers his favorite console and talks smack about other consoles and believes it to be inferior or at least the one console gamer believes so. I hope you guys um, get my description. Yeah, that was me a while back. I was never really interested in playing any other console other than my trusted PlayStation 2. Speaking of PlayStation 2, most of the games I had were PlayStation 1 games and the fact that the PlayStation 2 was backwards compatible with PlayStation 1 games made it even um, for me anyway the ultimate console to have. So I played and collected many games for the PlayStation 2, all the while ignoring that a new powerful console has come to challenge the PlayStation 2. I hated the fact that another contender entered the console wars. As much as I wanted to block it out of my head, I was unsuccessful. Welcome to Xbox Original Console, the very first console that the brilliant minds of Microsoft along with Bill Gates, introduces the most powerful console yet that was set to release on November 15, 2001. Since I just recently found out about this new console that was meant to challenge the power and innovation of Sony's PlayStation 2, I had it in my mind that it will never be the PlayStation 2. Never! Not even Nintendo had the firepower to compete with the PlayStation 2. GameCube. It didn't have enough power to compete. Remember what happened to Sega Dreamcast? Yeah, the PlayStation 2 put them out of business in terms of the console wars. Yeah, I told myself that. Microsoft won't be able to beat Sony as a way of reassuring myself. All the while, Xbox started coming out with games that were exclusive only to the Xbox console. To this day, sometimes, I think about how short-minded I had been back then. I knew that there were games on the Xbox that I really wanted to play and was secretly hoping that it would come out on the PlayStation 2 as well. But see, there's this thing about uh, a reason behind being called exclusives. They were never meant to come out to any other console because since the Xbox was new on the market, they needed to somehow make it up for its release on sales. But there were so many people who were huge fans of the Xbox from the get-go, so they had nothing to worry about. Unfortunately, this way of thinking continued all the way up to my sophomore years 
of high school. The way I thought about consoles and stubbornness to open myself up to trying out another console or even thinking of having another console next to my PlayStation 2 was something unfathomable. It was not until my junior year in high school um, is when I started to be more open-minded to the different consoles on the market. But during those times, I felt like I have missed on so many things. I knew deep down in my heart that I wanted to play Fable. During my stubborn years, I secretly wished uh, for it to be released for the PlayStation 2 so I never have to buy another console. Uh, looking back, man, I wish I was more open to the possibilities and my gaming journey would have had a smoother sailing up to the now. Better late to the party than never showing up. So as I got older, I guess you could say wiser, air quotes, I started collecting for the games I missed out on, especially getting the Xbox original console. Um, I bought all the exclusives that I could get my hands on without hesitation. Even now, I keep a checklist of games that I don't have for the original Xbox because I see that as the consequence for my stubbornness back then. What really opened my eyes was the fact that I was also a PC gamer. Diablo, Diablo 2, and StarCraft were my bread and butter when it came to PC games. It just so happened that my PC ran Microsoft Windows XP. <laughs> um, that's when I had my breakthrough, which I never really thought of before. I'm playing PC games using my desktop for gaming that ran a Microsoft operating, operating system and Xbox is also a Microsoft product. That's when it hit me. I didn't have to be so close-minded because I had been using Microsoft products from the get-go. And I guess I had my facepalm moment, if you guys can see me doing that. So from then on, I never look back. Anything new on the video game innovation and technologies, I've always checked out and got excited on its specs and power. Um, Although the Xbox did not beat the PlayStation 2, it was able to give the PlayStation 3 a run for its money when the Xbox 360 came out. But that's another story. But I could proudly say when I finally opened my mind to the possibilities, that is when my video game journey truly began. Anyway, if you guys watched this video and found how cringe I was back then, you have every right to think that. I'm just glad you guys didn't know me back then because guys, it truly sucks not being able to enjoy video games you want to play when you only want to use one console. So I'm just really glad that I turned around and now I'm enlightened. So I just want to say um, thank you for hanging out with me today and um, you know, just going down memory lane and I hope you guys enjoyed this true story. I hope I can make this walk with you guys again in another video. But um, I got a bonus for you guys because I was just in Target two hours ago and I just happened to linger by where they have those stuffed animals and I'm not into stuffed animals. Just, just, you know, stop. Anyway, I was just lingering by. I was checking out. They do have like um, Super Mario stuffies, you know, like things that you can find at GameStop. However, they have one item that has been out of GameStop for a while and that is this one right here. I've been looking for this for a while and it's one of those Pokemon 24 inch. I found another Snorlax. I caught another Snorlax. This one this time is the 24 inch. Now whatever you guys are seeing over here, this one is the 11 inch Snorlax. But uh, I've been looking for this one for a while. There you go, that's the 24 inch. There you go. Um, he's definitely going to be coming out of this uh, plastic. He's going to be, you know, part of the game room. But uh, I was able to find one. So if you guys are uh, collecting for Pokemon stuff, please like, you know, those um, Pikachus. They have some Pikachus. But the target that I was able to find this at had four. So this is one of four. So if you guys are looking for those, make sure you check your target, your local target, see if they have it. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to let you guys know um, for those Pokemon lovers out there who's collecting the 24-inch uh, Pokemon stuff, they have them at Target, the Snorlax one, okay? Anyway, guys, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Later. Yeah,